Jesse Minchu with GetHandles.com. Today I got a move a lot of NBA players use to break ankles and blow by defenders. It's called the Cinch Cross. And it's going to be kind of a variation on somewhat like your Iverson cross and your basic crossover, but it's a difference in ball movement and the way you're moving your body with this. So normally with your Allen Iverson crossover, what's going to happen is you're going to kind of hang the ball, hesitate, step out kind of at a 45 degree angle and slightly out and sell a fake with your hips and your chest and then cross over. With the cinch cross, this is going to be something you're going to do more on the move. So you're going to be kind of running or at least have a little bit of a jog going in this direction. From there, instead of taking a 45 degree angle step, you're gonna step almost completely forward. It's a little bit of an angle to the right, but almost straight forward, okay? And then from there, you're gonna cross over back behind this hip here. So what you're gonna use this in for game situations is if there's a defender here and they're kind of running with you to stop on a dime quick and send them flying, okay? But what you're gonna do from that, instead of stopping back here, you're gonna position this same foot that just stepped out here and change it here and start coming back this way right away. And what's gonna happen a lot of times is when you take this big step forward here, that defender's gonna go flying. And as you're already starting to move this way, a lot of times when they see you hit them with this crossover, they're gonna to try to come back up on you because they don't want you to get that jump shot and they wanna keep that pressure on you. And as they're coming back, you're already gonna be starting to move this way. And since you have it back by this hip here, now when they come at you, you have protection as long as you take that big step with this same foot. And again, this is gonna be somewhat of a reactional move. Basically, what you, when you're gonna pull it out is when you start to get past your defender and you see that you almost have them beat, but they're gonna really try to cut you off hard in this direction to try to get in front of you. That's when you're really gonna to wanna to hit them with this one. And again, making sure you keep that dribble tight to your body and pulling it back by this hip is gonna be very important because if you hang it out wide and do it more here, you're giving them that opportunity to steal it. So by keeping it tight here, and pulling it back, you're not giving that chance to get the hand on the ball. Now, if you want another way to improve your ball handling and your athleticism in as little as 10 minutes, make sure you click this link in the middle of the screen. Otherwise, you can click the link in the description down below. It's gethandles.com. That's a full free workout. Just pop in your email. I'll send it to you right away for free. It's already helped thousands of players, and it's probably going to help you too. Also, let me know in the comments down below what you want to see more of. What the people want is what I bring. Make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button to catch the newest tips, tutorials, and drills. And if you're looking for a way to take your energy up a couple notches, make sure you check out Spark. You can go to sparkedupenergy.com to get Get some of it it's gonna really help you boost your focus and performance on the court thanks for watching stay tuned for more and get after your goals today